All right, so I've been running the extra cycle for a little bit and it's been super sick. What I want to do is I want to build a little handle right here for my kid to hang on to. We've been riding around, it's been pretty good. She's just been hanging on to the back of the seat and it's been working. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit safer with, uh, <laughs> with her to have something to hold on to. So I got these bars. These are just old bars, but I did try having a setup where it's running a stem from here to here about 130 mil but it seems pretty close and it's pretty crammed up to where i sit so i decided i might do something a little bit different here i was thinking you could maybe run like a handlebar one of those cruiser handlebars all the way up but then everything or the weight would just be sitting on these two bolts and i already already have the switch kit on there so that's probably not a good idea and then the other option is to have something come up from here which could be hard as well but then i think the option that i'm going to try is basically have something come up from the bolt and maybe some type of bracket or something I'm gonna see what I can find and yeah we're gonna chuck that on and then maybe make a little bit of a cushion as well for her to sit and it should be good all right so just back from Bunnings and I found these two brackets which can go on the handlebar like that I think these are just uh, five bucks each around that I think what I need to do is just sand off or like file the edges a little bit they're a little bit sharp and how I'm gonna mount the bars to the end of that is I have this old kind of bracket that came on handlebars that I bent, but they have these cool little clamps here. So I'm gonna take these clamps off and put it like that on the bracket. And hopefully with two of them, it should be stable and then mount the brackets on top of the board. All right, here it is, basically done. You can see the bolts here. I just put other bolts on the side, but yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. I just chuck it on for a dry fit. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm just gonna sit them on top and then put the bolts in there. I think that should work pretty well. I think one thing I wanna do is like cut these down a little bit shorter, because when I'm turning and going corners, you don't want these bars to catch. And yeah, she probably doesn't need them that wide, but I think that's gonna be pretty good. And then for drilling into this, I don't really mind because someone already drilled the ends here, so I'm not trying to keep it all original. And then as for sitting on this, I'm gonna put a cushion on top or try to make a cushion on top anyway. So yeah, shouldn't be a issue really. Yeah, so basically just measure twice, drill once. You can see it was a little bit tricky because the board is actually tapered on both sides, but um, I ended up getting it all right. He's taking off the board. So I just took these out. They actually have little pins in them, so I guess just be careful. And I just gave them a drill on a drill press. I did use a smaller drill bit for the pilot hole first, and then I used a bigger drill bit. And yeah, this is way easier than drilling uh, metal for sure. This went straight through. And then here, just giving these brackets a file. These brackets are pretty heavy duty. I think I probably could have went a little bit lighter but I just want to make sure they're super strong since um, my kid's going to be holding onto them and I don't want them to bend or snap off or anything. Um, and then here, just taking off the stickers using hairdryer, a little bit of WD-40. Um, I think with three bolts uh, or even two bolts, it should be pretty secure since these brackets are so heavy duty and then she's going to be sitting on the brackets, kind of putting her weight on top anyway. So I think it'll be pretty safe. And cleaning up the handlebars, a little bit of WD-40 again. And he yeah, screwing them on. Um, I'll probably end up changing the bolts out a bit later. Uh, maybe some flush ones, but I'm just going to run it as is for now. And then these bars are too long, so I'm just cutting it down. Just start off easy when you cut them, and then yeah, just hack away. There isn't there isn't too much to it. it takes a little bit of effort. You can also put tape all the way around if you want to be a bit neater. But um, I end up just filing it. Uh, I was going to chuck grips on. Uh, anyway, so I wasn't too concerned about it and then here yeah, checking the bars on I uh, end up being a pretty good fit. Everything felt pretty stable. I'm gonna use uh, pro Nylock nuts on the end of those by just putting on together for now just to look and then yeah My daughter wanted to check on these uh, glow-in-the-dark grips. So Shout out bike dad for setting those that finally got to use them and then yeah Looking pretty good, I think. All right, so yeah, I've been just riding it like this, been pretty good. I even put this little bell on. And next up, what we're gonna do is try to make a foam, a little foam seat here. So I got this old piece of foam from, I think it's from an old cushion somewhere. Um, but you can see it's not 100% the right length. 
but I think it will do. And then I think it's actually a little bit thick at the moment. So what I want to do is probably just cut the top off, uh, just those bumpy bits, and then wrap it up. So yeah, I think that should be pretty good. Just using a razor blade to cut it, you can see I've aligned the other side of the cushion to the board and then made a guide, a slight uh, cut just to guide it out. And then I use a ruler, well not a ruler, a cardboard box to uh, just be able to line it up and draw a line with the marker. And that allows me to cut kind of straight down into the cushion, gives me a better, gives me a better angle. And then just take your time when you're cutting it. It might take uh, a few different cuts just to get all the way through the cushion, but then it should come out pretty straight. And then yeah, chucked it on. All right, you can see it's on here. It's pretty, pretty good shape. You can see how it's not straight on both sides, actually tapered. That's how the board is. So that's why I used the board as kind of like a guide. I'm gonna cut these bumpy bits off now. And then yeah, same process here. Just use cardboard box, line it up. I end up marking it all the way around um, because I wanted a straight cut. And then yeah, just take your time. If you have a longer razor blade, you could probably just do it in one cut as well. All right, looking pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna try to find some material to, um, to wrap it up. I also have to be careful about how I'm gonna attach it to the bike. I was thinking I'd use some straps to go through the little silver rails, but I gotta be careful of the other, the other bag that's taking up room already. All right, just back from Spotlight, you can see I end up getting this uh, vinyl leather type of material. You can see it doesn't stretch this way, but it stretches this way. So you gotta be careful which way to put it on. Um, person at the store showed me that. And then I also got this velvet, which I think will be a bit better. A little bit stretchy, kind of stretchy both ways. So I'm gonna try to put this on and then I got this as backup just in case. And I got so many old saddles, maybe I can use this for the old saddles, see how it goes. My daughter will like this because it's more comfortable and then this will be easier to clean usually and protective protect it from water, I guess. Creating the pattern for this is gonna be a little bit of freestyle. Basically, I'm just gonna smooth out the corners like this and then just shove the cushion in. Hopefully it works out. So I made two for the ends and then I'm gonna measure this back bit and just roll it out on the, on the material itself. Yeah, it's always uh, scary doing things for the first time, but I just wrapped it up and then just trimmed it. Sometimes you just gotta commit and just cut it. All right, so cut that out, and now I'm gonna do these end bits. Um, I have to cut a little bit longer. I don't know how this is gonna work because I'm pretty new to sewing, so the only one way to find out is just to try it. I'm gonna try to sew around here, just everything inside out, and then the idea is to turn it inside out and then put the cushion in. All right, just marked it out with chalk and cut it out. And here I just marked it out with some chalk, just normal chalk, it worked pretty well and then um, just trimmed up the excess and then try to sew this curve here. So yeah, sewing the corners was super hard and it ended up bunching up a bit. So I decided to call it quits on this uh, technique because I don't think I have the skill to do it, so I'm going to just try to do something else. I decided just to kind of sew it like a big tube, that way I could slide it, slide the cushion in and hopefully get some nice fit in there. And um, once again, did it inside out. It ended up working pretty well, just the cushion had a lot of give. I was pretty stoked on this, nice and smooth. I just had to work out the ends now. All right, so I ended up sewing this end down here as well. And then I unpicked the middle. So I'm gonna put the cushion through there. Hopefully that works. And then here, just stuffing the cushion in. It took, it took a little while to stuff the cushion in because the hole was so small. But um, yeah, it's pretty forgiving. You can kind of like squish it back out and it, and it'll go back to its like original form. And then here, just tucking in the corners, nice way to finish it. All right, here it is. Uh, just, you can see I tucked the corners in just like that. Same on both sides. So it's, I think it's fairly decent, fairly neat. I just got to put some Velcro here to keep it nice and, uh, nice and tight. And I think I'm just gonna run some Velcro here and then pull one of the flaps out. So and then put Velcro on that. All right, not the best, but I think I should have sewed like a little bit closer to the edge, but either way, I think it's going to work here. It's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with the velvet too. My kid definitely likes it and it looks pretty good as well, I think. And then, yeah, I just got these two straps from Daiso way back and I'm just going to chuck these on. 
<laughs> All right, that's done. Pretty sweet, I think. I just looped it through here so it wouldn't get caught in the tire. I guess I could loop it down lower if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna run it like this, see how it goes. But yeah, all in all, pretty stoked on this. Here it is from the side. Looks pretty good, I think. All right, next on the agenda, you can see how these have little, little clip things. Uh, it's just a piece of plastic and it just clips on, lets you slide it and it doesn't let the cables hang. So just a small thing, but I'm just gonna make some out of spokes for these two on the front. The other side has them all, so should be fine. Yeah, this is what it looks like. This is a plastic clip with a little notch out. So funny enough, I was able to find two of these things. So I'll be able to notch it out. That should be easy. Yeah, basically just use the Stanley knife here and or razor blade and you just basically just push down on it, do some score lines first and then super simple, worked out well and then yeah, put it all together. Um, these were a little bit bigger so they're a little bit harder but it was fine. All right, I'm gonna to try to make a little foot stand now and I've got a stem here. Could probably just clamp something on like that but I wanna make it come out of here. So it's just gonna be a little bar. I'm gonna cut this stem off it can just be a little a little step here. Yeah, these are 22.2, so these kind of slide straight in, which is pretty awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna cut these stems down, cut them straight down, nice and flat. Um, this would definitely be way easier if you had an angle grinder or something like that. You could just put it in a vise, if you have a vise, and just grind it off. But yeah, I ended up doing, doing it with hacksaw. It was a little harder than I expected, but it went worked pretty well at the end. It's funny how it had that little hole there as well. I guess it's for uh, water drainage. And then I just greased it up, chucked it in, and it seemed pretty stable. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I wasn't going to finish the other side. I might finish the other side when I get a chance um, just to round it off. Maybe if I get a big file or something. But for now, I think it's pretty good as is. It's nice and stable and will be uh, perfect for a footrest and also helps my kid to get on the back of the bike seat. Um, yeah, just by stepping on and holding on the handlebar. Yeah, you can see it's funny, this one had two holes for some reason. And I guess they also paint the stem and everything. But yeah, I just flatten it out, sand it off the ends to make sure they're nice and smooth so it didn't get cut or anything. I also ended up cutting off this bolt just to trim it um, so it didn't stick out. And then don't forget to put the strap back on, make sure it goes all the way under so that will help keep the seat on as well. We'll keep the top of the rails on and the same with the other side. And then you can see how it lines up with the pedal, probably sticks out about the same. I didn't want to stick out too much, you'll notice when you go through doorways and stuff if it sticks. But yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Here you can see my kit got tied and I tried strapping the bike off to the back. I've seen that people do it on the internet. Um, but yeah, basically I just used a rubber tube, a rubber tube, tied it to the back of the bike and then used the straps as well, put the wheel on there. I ended up moving the wheel to the other side because it was a little bit uncomfortable for my kid. But yeah, it ended up working pretty well. I might build something in the future, uh, like a dedicated thing, but for now it works all right. You can see the wheel on the other side there it makes it a little bit, gives a little bit more space when my kid hops on. You can see, sit here, and then here's some quick riding clips. I didn't really want to film too much just because it's a little bit of a hassle trying to film and get home with all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty fun to show it. So yeah, turning uh, left is way easier than turning right for some reason. Uh, I think when right, the bike tends to tilt more, but once you get used to it, it's not a problem. You just got to watch out and remember that your bike is a little bit longer than usual. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. Um, you can see after riding a long time, forks did put little holes in there. But yeah, it doesn't matter. The bag's pretty rough anyway. So if you're going to do this, just make sure you cover the forks with uh, some rubber or something. Um, but yeah, overall pretty stoked on this. This is the bike. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Thank you everyone who bought shirts and stickers and general support. Appreciate you all. Catch you in the next one. Peace.